Well, <laughs> my uh, fears have come true by the looks of things. Been lying here for a little while, been awake. Just, uh, so here's the deal. Let's sit up a bit. Oh. Okay, so as you can hear, it's starting to rain. It's not looking so flash out there all of a sudden. I moved the boat last night closer, thinking that would help me pack up quicker. But, uh, well, look, it's not too bad. A little bit of white cabbage starting to, starting to heat up on the water there, so it means it's windy. Let's walk down here a bit, see if it gets much windier. Yeah, right. Okay, so it's getting windier now. Well, we kind of need to wait just at least a little bit here. I'll move back up here so it's not... animal prints. I could hear an animal running around out here last night. Oh, here we go. Little possum or something. Little possum tracks. Oh, look, he took off fast over there. Oh, he's everywhere. Look at him. Yeah. Okay, what are we going to do? Let's hide here for a sec. Mmm. Don't know. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to do. Don't really feel like getting wet and braving the ocean. But if this is the only window I'm going to get before it really picks up, then... We'll have a think for a minute. We'll just give it 10 minutes, see if the rain starts clearing or it starts getting thicker. Check the weather reports again, then we'll make a call as to what we do. Whether we quickly pack up and roll back. This won't be the end of the trip though. This will just be a little break from the trip and we'll quickly go down to the next spot. And then maybe we'll do a bit of car camping for a day or two while we edit a video and um, a bit of stealth camping in the car. Because I've got, because I've got uh, the wife's car, it's a much, um, it's much better equipped actually. With the, with the boat on the trailer, I've basically got a huge amount of room in the back. I can sit up, so it's actually a pretty comfortable spot to stay. Alright, we'll make a call in a sec. Let's check the weather report again. Try and keep my things as dry as possible, if possible. But I've got a feeling we might be running into some proper rain halfway over. So it might be fruitless, it might be pointless, sorry. <laughs> should be all right though. That little bit of nice sky over there sort of gives me a glimmer of hope that we should get a nice run over. Otherwise, we'll just have to slug it out. Start chucking bits in. Okay, see you later campsite. Oh, she's a bit heavy with all that stuff in it. Okay, island, short but sweet. Uh, look, it actually looks like it's clearing up a bit there. <laughs> I reckon uh, that won't last long though. All right, got to make the call though. I think we're making the right decision because over the next three days, it was only meant to be one or two days that were bad weather. Now, it seems like it's going to be considerably more. So we'll go and uh, go to a new spot halfway down the coast.
Well, we made it to the destination, but it's pretty, like you can see even the swells are sort of sweeping over there. You can see it's pretty dicey at the moment. So I think I made the right call leaving where I was because this same kind of uh, wind would have been hitting the islands as well. And it would have made for a pretty, pretty uh, nasty time for the next couple of days. So I think it's two days of big blow, sort of drops on Friday a little bit, then picks up again. But if I can get to my destination on Friday, I will. If not, we might have to wait for Saturday. Then on Saturday, Sunday, it just drops right off. So that'll be the time. But we'll just have to see what happens. It's a nice little town to hang out in. And I'll, uh, yeah, get a nice cooked meal and uh, do some editing. And hopefully the next video will be up on Saturday. So you would have already seen that by now. All right, well, we've finished going through all the uh, footage from the uh, day one. <laughs> we'll have to uh, hit that a bit proper tomorrow. Just smash it all out, but... Not a bad place to work. I've come up here because it's cooled down a bit. But I don't know if I can stay here and sleep in the car. So this is the setup basically. Yeah. Can we turn that on? Yeah. Let's chuck that down. Oh. We got more lights in the back? We do. So yeah. This is home for the night. <laughs> Which is pretty cool actually. There's heaps of room so I can spread right out and uh, got access to all my bits and pieces and yeah so it's actually like a king single mate I'm not used to this fancy kind of stuff but yeah we'll just chill watch the sunset and then maybe I don't know we'll see if we get moved on I might try and stay here but I've got a feeling I'll get moved on from here gotta go somewhere a bit more a bit more secluded and less obvious I guess we'll probably uh, sign out and then we'll pick it up when we hit the water or hit the ramp on Friday morning at first light I'd say we'll just check what the tide's going to be like because um that's another reason why I wanted to see uh, from up here because you can see there's waves coming in across here but I think if I just duck around that side bit there we should be right because this is uh, getting to a lower tide now anyway see you in a day or two just quickly load the boat back up Get rid of this seat and have a slight rear jig here, I think. Just had to race a couple of little runners, but they weren't anything to worry about. So that made it nice and easy, because I was a bit like, hmm, it is actually a little bit of surf coming through. They're just sort of crumbling off, but I'd rather not have to deal with it, so. We got lucky in the end, and we just sort of snuck around the corner. But I guess we should head straight out. That's our goal, all the way down there, in the haze there. So we'll start smashing it out. We should be able to go fairly quick. A good test for the uh, new setup. quite the run over can barely see where I came from all the way back there I've made it to the other headland yeah, a little bit of wind pushing me this way you didn't notice it until I stopped but we made it to this point I 
can see there's a lot of water moving around near those inner rocks there, so we might just go around them. So hopefully if we get around here, we'll be a bit more protected. Definitely around this corner is gonna be the way to go, whether it's in that beach or the next way around in the creek. But yeah, it's cool to be back. I actually came here a long time ago with Timmy, but we did it on the skiffs. I don't know how we managed to get here on the skiffs, mate. That was pretty uh, ambitious. We did it. I think we had calmer conditions. Yeah, right. Well, in my head, I had it in mind staying in, see how there's like little fingers and there's a little beach in each one? In my mind, I was coming back to stay in one of them. But last time I was here, we obviously had more favorable conditions and you could get in there, no problems. You could just park yourself in there. Yeah, with these cute little uh, U-shaped beaches. But right now, they are sort of too hard to get into. Like they look all right right this very second. I can race in there and I could do it, but if the swell switches around a little bit, I don't want to get stuck in there and not be able to get the boat in and out easily. So my plan is falling apart pretty quick. The old road trip, we're covering a couple of stumble blocks, stumbling blocks here. And every now and then a bit of swell sneaks its way on a different angle and it comes in and it sort of cracks on the beach pretty hard. Oh, turtle. Well, we've just come around the corner and we've come in. This is one of the very rare places where there's actually a coral reef inside a creek mouth. And you can see I've just basically, because it's so shallow, my boats actually can travel over all this, no problems, but I can't actually use the motor. So what I've done is I've just gone upwind and I'm just getting blown back over the reef. There's plenty of clearance, but I've got the motor up. But you can see that it's actually pretty amazing considering, considering it's in a creek mouth. Lots of soft corals I can see. But the problem is I can't get close enough to where I want to camp until high tide. So I'm just going to do this float over and then I'm going to go out and I'm going to have a look at, um, whoa, something just took off there. What was that? Big fish. Look, you can see the swirl it made and it just flew off there. I wonder what that was. Surely there's got to be some craze on this where the drop off is. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can roll in. Maybe I better hurry up. All right, well, we made it. Not sure if we've made it to where I thought I'd be, but that's all right. It actually looks pretty nice up here. Let's go and have a check, check it out. I've never been here before. I've only seen it on Google Maps. <laughs> so we'll get up here. Hey, crabs. Oh, well, this could be a nice change of pace anyway. It's not quite the, uh, the epic offshore-y kind of uh, ocean camper that I was, sort of camp up that I was sort of expecting, but this really does look quite nice up here. And look, at low tide, everything looks like that, but at high tide, it'll be a complete different story. It'll be quite nice, because it looks like the tide's coming to up until at least here. We had to get the boat right up. You know, we'll spend the two next two days just exploring a new, like, a new kind of reef. It's obviously not going to be the same as out on the islands, but it's a completely different kind of little ecosystem. All soft corals mainly, but there still was a bit of drop off with some bigger coral heads towards the edges where they've got it marked. No, I think this could be really nice. It's just that I'm getting it at low tide that's sort of throwing me out a bit. Plus, I can light a little fire here. No, it should be really nice. Okay, right here, I think. Still a little damp, actually, from the other day when we broke it down in the rain. It's all right. Very sunny, might take long to dry out. Mm. 
Nice. Done. Too easy. Let's get the sand off it. I guess we should probably get a couple of sticks and a little bit of firewood together. So we'll have a little bit of a trek around and find some. And just start everywhere we go, we'll just start building a pile. And then, I guess we'll hop in the boat and maybe go for a explore further up the creek. Take the goggles and snorkel, maybe jump in on the soft corals. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise being forced in inshore. But uh, it's growing on me, it's growing on me a lot. I was a bit like, oh no, this isn't what I planned. But now, I'm actually starting to feel like this is the way to go. What was that? Everywhere we go, just grab a few more sticks. And soon we'll have a mighty pile. <laughs> there we go, it's enough for about 10 seconds. We'll keep adding to it. Whoa! Whoa. Okay, what have we got? I did buy a pack of plastics because I thought, you know what, if we do come into the creek I'll give it a crack and it turns out we will need to do that. Okay, I've just chucked everything in and now I've realised why I always keep the seat on and don't just use the esky. Because now the esky's out of the boat, I don't have a seat. <laughs> that was a bit silly. That's alright, I can sit on the pontoons in the creek anyway. When you're out in the ocean it's a lot nicer not to sit on the pontoons because you want the boat as balanced as possible when you're going through the chop. Alright, let's go find some dinner. There's actually more for me to do inshore than there is offshore. So, yeah, if they get stuck into it. Ooh, this seat is toasty. <laughs> have a little snorkel in just amongst the shallows I'm always surprised at just how many fish there are hidden right tucked up in the mangroves which we're about to crash into oh here we go the anchor's just gripped now saving us just in the nick of time it's always fun even just to see if you can you never know you might see a jack or a flatty which I'd be happy with if not I'm happy to go fishing further up I don't know if I'd go spear fishing further up once it gets a bit muddy banked and but we should be all right here look oh see this fish darting in between right back there if I can somehow just sneak up on one or two it might be an easy way to get dinner mangroves are always really fun let's have a look
tell you, if I wanted a brim, I reckon I wouldn't have had much trouble. But it's not really what I'm after. But uh, yeah, let's jump back out. It was nice to get refreshed anyway, and we'll uh, try and suss out. Uh, there was I saw one or two flatties, but uh, nothing big enough, and maybe a few dust clouds, which were just them disappearing. <laughs> but let's uh, have a look for something else. We might need to get away from these uh, mangroves because there's a crazy amount of midges. Where to next? I wonder. <laughs> Let's go and suss a couple of things out. <laughs> this is a pretty cool little channel. Surely there's got to be a little flatty. Just line on the bottom. Oh, March fly. Oh, he got away. There he is. See you, mate. You good. Okay, well, we just tied on a nice little uh, paddle tail and we're just going to have a cast around. It's pretty windy, actually. Ooh, that was pretty good, though. So, let's try not to lose it in the first cast and get some mangroves, but there's no reason why there couldn't be a good floody lurking around. In fact, I'm hoping there is. But I really only have, like, about, what we've we got, 16%. 18% battery power, so I doubt very much I'm going to get this on film, so I might have to just uh, just turn it on once I get a hit. But we're going to work this area. I've got to um, catch something because I've got nothing uh, nothing for dinner apart from corn, which will still be nice on the fire, but it's not really the goal. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'll check back in when I got something. Big flatty or mangrove jack. It's literally floating over that reef now and just casting and seeing what we can find. We caught something, what is it gonna be? Ah, mini cod. Yeah. The plague of the uh, northern <laughs> the northern coast. What have you done? There we go. See you later mate. Well, see if we can catch something a bit more exciting than that. But at least it's nice to get a pull on something. Ooh, I can see something there. There's something that just came up and had a look at that. Oh! What is that? Alright, that's definitely on that ledge there. Let's have another cast of that. Maybe a queenfish or something. Big flash of silver and blue. Maybe GT or something. Sort of medium size. Oh, might have to go for another drip over it. Oh, well, that gives me, that's exciting. I saw something that was a proper fish, that. Whatever it is, it's gotta be queenfish. Oh my god. Yeah, that looks exactly like what came up before. Got her. Woo! Big queenie! And I brought some ice. Oh, this is definitely a. Whoa, it's an aerial. Oh man. Man, I really needed to get this fish, that's for sure. Yeah, I gotta look it up. Whoa, whoa. It's really going ballistic. Yeah, 
Do I have the gaff? I did actually bring the gaff. There we go. Okay, we might need that. Just get that ready. I don't really want to lose this fish. Just keep the pressure on. Get close to the boat. I reckon it's probably got a, a bit more of a run in it. <laughs> That's like exactly what I saw come up before. I wonder if it's the only one or look I think I think it was see no one swimming with it. Yeah look there's a couple. Wow. They're all hanging out. Come on. Don't spit it. Don't spit it. It's getting tired though. Look at us, a whole stack of them. Right, don't spit it, don't spit it, don't spit it. keeping you for dinner it's pretty big though maybe I can offer some to these boats all right we got you oh. just got to watch out for these spikes these are super super spiky Sorry, I've gone all quiet because I just wanted to concentrate on not ruining my boat on the first trip. Because <laughs> these anal spikes on these things are mental. Look at that quality hook placement right on the side of the jaw. Okay, you got it. Wow, that's one hell of a fish, man. Well, the uh, other camera just ran out of battery, so we're gonna head in and we'll uh, start filleting. Luckily, I got ice so I can keep this fish for uh, more than one meal, and I can use the extra bits for uh, crab baits as well. So we've done well in the end. Yeah, let's head in. Hopefully, that's actually picking up something. <laughs> Okay, we went up to get a bowl of some sort, but we'll come back with the pan. You'll notice this is a new pan, very fancy pants. Not really, I just got it at the local camping shop. I didn't want to buy like a, um, a, uh, what is it, a cast iron one, because I've got a cast iron pan at home, but I just didn't bring it. But this is sort of a happy in between, slightly bigger. Um, it's not overly expensive, it's just like Coleman, I think it was like $18 or something. But it'll do the job. Wow, look at that fish. It's a big one. Not bad at all, hey. So part of it's gonna go for dinner tonight. I think I might just do a big fillet on a stick or maybe that whole rear quarter. Maybe I'll just do the back tail bit and then we'll fill it some up for a meal tomorrow, maybe some sashimi. And then we'll use all the belly and the head for crab pots. gonna be delicious though I'm quite looking forward to this we're not gonna go anything fancy we're literally just gonna score it salt and pepper and then I'm gonna shove it on a stick over the fire and just slowly roast it away geez that's a nice chunk of fish look at that push it down a bit more okay now let's just quickly fill it these days Okay, that's 
It's not a bad piece of fish, is it? I've got to hurry up though, because I've got to get these crab pots out and then get back and light a fire. So, let's hurry up. Let's stop filming and let's just uh, get uh, get booking on those crab pots, because I've got to get it all the way back up to the mangroves now. <laughs> Look at all that fish. At least the good thing about this meal is there's pretty much zero prep. It's just get the fire going is all I need to do. So that'll be e nice and easy. Okay. We might even chuck a piece of corn in the fire as well. Okay. How's that gonna... It's a little bit too much fish. It's all right. Done. Okay, let's close this up now because I can feel the bugs already starting to move in on me. Okay, crab pots, let's do this. We just smashed that out so quick. I just had to get the traps set up, tied some baits on. We've got to get out of here. One, the tide's dropping, the tide's dropping, and the sun's dropping. So let's get out of here. Woo! It's good to have a purpose though. We're just going to go back to that same little creek that I was in before. So we're going to get back there fast. That was a bit of a bummer. Change of plans. I just went to get into the creek and it's closed up a bit and I don't know which way to get in but I couldn't get in. I just ran aground. So I'm just going to try in here. It's a bit sandier here but you never know. We'll see what we can find. Just put that up there. Just in there. I'm happy with that. Okay. Let's do it. Hopefully eat crabs tomorrow. Not quite as deep as I was hoping, but biggest can't be choosers. We're running out of time. Just pulled the boat up, use the wheels this time because that sounds pretty hard. Anchor out in a nice spot so I can see the boat. <laughs> All right, now let's get this fire going ASAP because we are going to get eaten alive by bugs. Dry. Hopefully that does a good job. I think get a handful of leaves or something else, I don't know. A handful of this stuff should be easy to dry. I reckon that'll go up pretty quick. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Now we're talking. As soon as it gets under the, oh man, those midges, yeah. They're definitely stepping it up. Okay, let's not muck around. Let's get this fire going properly. Oh, I'm starting to relax. There's something very overwhelming about knowing that you're about to get eaten alive by a bunch of insects. I've got nothing else. Next thing is just bug net, stay inside. <laughs> That's all I can do. cooking nice so I've just snapped off a branch um, just off a uh, tree that's still a bit green we want it a bit green just so I can uh, uh, just rely on it not to burn too quickly probably could snap it off around about uh, maybe we'll go a bit higher out there Go and get a knife and we'll sharpen this bad boy up a little bit so we can pierce our fish. Won't need it too sharp, but and we'll leave this little nub here just so it sits on there, it doesn't go any further down. Yeah. 
yeah sharp enough to go through the fish nicely let's just do a couple of nice light ones here perfect let's just take this little bit off so it goes over the fish a bit better I just turned around and noticed that the sunset is something else. Wow, look at that. We better get this fish out, otherwise I'm never going to eat. But that is some sunset. Okay, so we're pretty much just going to spear it straight through. Go heavy end down. Try and run it through the centre of the meat. <sighs> ah, there we go. Okay. Just put a couple of big slits in it. And put some salt and pepper in there. Sunset. Okay, how are we going to do this? We'll get this log, put it on this side, and if we lean this up here like that, there's heaps of heat coming off just here. It'll be cooking in no time. And then we'll stick this in here. <laughs> We can just lean that up there and I'll use my special rock that I got for uh, making sure this doesn't fall down but I'll just wedge that there oh there we go that looks pretty good it's gonna take a while but once it gets going oh yeah no nah, that's there's heaps of heat coming off and it's pushing it back that way we can always lower it down just a little bit this is gonna be really good just gonna wait now once it starts to sizzle and once it starts to really start drip and get really warm and we'll see it starting to really get going it'll be really delicious i'm really excited we're just going to make sure that it doesn't fall off at any point otherwise that'd be devastating i guess i better put a bit more firewood on and just enjoy the show now I'm not sure how I'm going to show this to you, but it's actually looking pretty amazing. I've just flattened this rock out. How am I going to do this? Okay. Maybe the phone will get better footage of this. Yeah, look at that. Meat off the bone. Oh, it's actually still juicy inside. I'll crack off that skin in a sec. Mmm. Uh. Wow, it's good. I might actually try some of the skin. Let's peel it back. Oh my god, look, it's sort of, it's kind of like, oh sorry, I'm not showing it very well. It's actually kind of like slow cooked. It's gone super moist. I don't know if you can see me. Oh. You ever do things sometimes, and you're kind of just winging it, like, I've done meat like this before, but I've never really done fish. Yeah, you see uh, guys do it, and I've always wondered if it comes out as good, but look at all that juicy meat. It's almost like fall apart because it's just been slowly roasting over the fire. It did take a while. I'm trying to turn the camera around. Sorry, I've been sitting in the um, fire. My eyes are shot. 
Mmm. It's just... And it's it's quite meaty. It's really... um. Yeah, it's really meaty. I know that sounds like a silly comment because it's meat, but it's, um, oh, look at that. It's really something else. I recommend it, big time. Mmm, yum. All right, look, that light is so in my eyes, I can't see anything else except the light. So hopefully you're seeing some of this and um, I'll, um, yeah. I'll catch you on tomorrow's vid. Anyway, I better get this fire going again because I can feel the bugs moving in. And uh, this big log's going on. And then I'm just going to chill and eat the rest of this. Man, there's so much meat. Well, queen fish. It's definitely on the menu. See you on the next vid, guys.